Yeah, I so much of the time. Anyway, there was a lot of, there was a few questions asked today, but some of the most important questions were not asked. Number one, is there a guarantee, a binding guarantee, the right is out and closed by 2027? And also, why is it that the mayor is waiting to close Rikers, waiting, letting, letting the reforms go by, but still rushing the building of these four new jails? Why is it that we're not waiting to see what the impact of these reforms are gonna be before you build these new jails? And not only that, I find it very disingenuous for people to talk about decarceration, but at the same time, your first go-to is to build jail, not the best of the No, no talking about closing Rikers Island. If people are talking about closing Rikers Island, but not making the investments in the community that they need to make, they're playing three called money with you. There's an OP going on. Because for 10 years at least, we're gonna have these four facilities and Rikers Island open at the same time. The next man will come by and say, forget about it, it's not gonna happen. So it doesn't make any sense, even from a negotiating standpoint. If you're fighting for criminal justice, they're coming to the negotiating table with the weak hand. And at the same time, the mayor is starting to privatize NYCHA, a third of NYCHA under the RAD plan. RAB, look it up, RAB underneath the RAD plan is going to private management. So when you close like right this and everybody comes home, what are they coming home to? Why is it that people have to wait to go inside to get mental health care? They gotta go inside to get their drug treatment care. Why are we focusing on what's inside the prisons? Why are we not focusing on what's preventing people from going to prison? <laughs>